warning. Huge event spoiler alerts. We are breaking down literally everything that is going to be going down in season three's giant robots event, as well as everything that's going on in Fortnite right now that you don't want to miss. We are about to break down absolutely everything that is going down in this season's final event. Huge leak alert. <laughs> but first, our season two moon lobby has just been updated, and it would seem that Singularity is building the robots right now. If you haven't been paying attention, legs have actually just appeared on the giant robot, and it would seem that Singularity is assembling the robot's construction in the lobby every day. One leg seems to be connected, and the other one is being prepared. And with us being so close to the end of this season's final event, it would seem that a new part of the robots will be assembled every other day. We've got one leg in place, we need one more, and soon we're gonna be getting that arm. Yes, don't mind me, I am running away from every single fight in Fortnite right now. That's what happens when you turn the corner, and there are two bosses literally camping you. I'm not saying it's unfair, but it doesn't happen to everybody, I'm just saying. It would seem like in the build-up to this final event, the robot is going to continue to be constructed, allowing us, the players, to literally follow this event literally in the build-up to the brand new season. Yo, Epic, this is pretty cool. My life! Oh, well, that was a pretty big headache, huh? We said we're gonna be breaking down the entire event from start to finish, and it's going to be crazy leaks. We are not joking. You don't want to hear about the leaks and about the breakdown of this season's final event in detail? Go away. This may be too much for you. Leakers in the game's files have actually uncovered a lot of the coding and the cues that are going to be activated during the live event. This is basically the secret coding that triggers gameplay during the event, and we actually get to learn a lot about what is going down in this event, so let's get into it. Drill Burst. Drill Burst is the first line of gameplay coding for this event. Need a place to believe that some kind of drill is going to be bursting during this event. There's only one drill that is currently in our Fortnite's game that is worth talking about. That, of course, is the giant drill. Dr. Sloan's giant drill. It would seem like at some point during this event, this giant drill is going to burst. And I assume that means explode. Say goodbye to Dr. Sloan's giant drill in this season's final event. Small missile destroy. This just seems to be a gameplay cue suggesting that some kind of small missile will be destroyed. There's obviously going to be some crazy conflict battles going on during this Fortnite event. Tank bullets impact and tank burst. Hey, yo, good time and speaking of tanks, huh? During this Fortnite event, we should expect to see some of the tanks in our Fortnite game bursting. Presumably meaning that we the players are going to be able to drive tanks during this Fortnite event and they're likely to burst. Oh, a bit like that. A bit like that, but that is a tank. Yikers. Oh, snap, somebody's in my tank. <laughs> See you later, loser! Rock Destroy. Rock Destroyed has been found in the gameplay files during this event, and it's suggesting that the rock statue is literally going to be destroyed. The half-destroyed foundation statue that is in our Fortnite game looks like it's on its last legs. Uh, literally. Excuse the pun. And during this explosive event, it seems that it's going to be wiped out officially and destroyed. The giant statue has been in our game since the start of Chapter 3, and it would seem that it's about to go bye-bye. Is the rock statue actually going to be destroyed in this season's final event? Well, gameplay play files seem to suggest it does. Yeah! Oh! The leak files then move on from the gameplay section to what seems to be some kind of cinematic trailer coding. Presumably that will play during the event or maybe when the event is over. The most important coding that we can read is moon montage play. Until more recently, we didn't understand what moon montage might actually be, but it now makes a ton of sense. We've already talked about the moon and the giant robots that is there rebuilding her robot. Singularity is officially on the moon. So the fact that we're going to be getting some kind of cinematic trailer during this event, it would seem that this is literally confirmed with the coding Moon Montage Play. Of course, there is Moon Montage Resume. So these together would suggest that we are definitely going to be seeing the moon, Singularity, and the robot in this season's final event. Yo, but what's actually going to be in the trailer that we're going to be watching during the event? Well, it goes on. Moon Pod Enter and Moon Pod Exit. This line of coding seems to suggest that we are going to be entering some kind of pod or exiting some kind of pod. Does this mean that the giant robot is going to be landing on our island, encapsulated in some kind of pod? I don't know if you've ever seen anybody come down from the moon, but they usually have an escape pod, which flies deep into the water, rises back up, and they get rescued. These space pods are usually how people get down from the moon and from space. So is it possible that the giant robots will be doing the exact same thing? The giant robot doesn't want to burn up in space, so by taking a pod, it's going to be able to arrive safely down on our island. Well, according to the gameplay cues, this seems to 
be the case. Unload wave. Unload wave seems to suggest that some kind of waves are going to be coming to our event, which would kind of make a lot of sense if we're suspecting that the giant robot is going to land in the water in our Fortnite game. It could cause quite a splash. you got to remember the robot is giant. It is the giant robot after all. And if it is landing in a pod, it will no doubt land in our Fortnite ocean, literally causing a wave. This, of course, is just speculation, but it would seem like our speculation is probably right. As this line of coding does suggest that waves are going to be hitting us in Fortnite. Finally, weapon swap. Weapon swap seems to be one of the last codings that is going down in this season's final event, and it's suggesting that somebody is going to be swapping a weapon. This is speculation for sure, but what I think is going on here is weapon swap is suggesting the giant robot is going to be swapping out a temporary arm for the actual arm that it's in our Fortnite ocean right now. We've already seen leaks of the game's files confirming that the giant robot is going to be taking her arm back during this event, which would explain why the robot is going to land in water, why we're going to be getting waves, and why the robot might weapon swap, meaning swapping her arms so she can reclaim her original. And it's all happening in this season's final event. Oh my god. Easy! Oh my goodness! Oh! I definitely hit that guy, but I feel like I did zero damage. Dude, the placement of my builds was so terrible. I literally helped this man box himself up. Hey, you welcome, fella. Hey, the madness is not over. We've got plenty more to come. I just gotta get through the wheel spin. No crouch or sprinting. I mean, we can do that, but that may be the dumbest thing that I've ever seen on this wheel. Oh my god. Stupid. Goodness. More crazy changes are happening here at the Collide if you didn't know. And you guys really need to see that. Please, go away, bro. There's no way. Bro, there's no way you can see me. The next phase of the collider has actually happened. This is now phase five. But don't worry, you haven't missed anything super crazy. The collider is getting bigger, stronger, and more dangerous every time it pulses. It would seem for sure that the collider is powering up. Once again, this was caught online by another player who was present at the time when the collider exploded. If this collider keeps getting bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger... Oh, I, I, I can't get the chest. I can't crouch or sprint. I can't get this chest. How do I get in here? Hey, don't worry. I'm not dumb. I'm to get in, okay? This collider keeps getting bigger and stronger. The explosion could eventually take out our entire island. Well, I think that's what Dr. Sloan is planning. Bro, give me some shield, dog. I landed at the most popular location in Fortnite. How did I got no shield, huh? Oh, don't need a crouch or sprint to do that, huh? I'm coming, player. Oh, let me through, bro. Let me through. Oh, my God. Bro, this boss needs to leave me alone. Yep, there he is, huh? There he is. Get him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not so tough now, huh? I don't care. <laughs> I don't get it. Support a critic code on screen right now if you guys want to support the channel. Let me know if there's anything we've missed in this video that we need to talk about for season three. If you like this video, you're gonna like the one that's on screen right now, guys. No crouching and sprinting sucks. I'm gonna catch you all in the next crazy. Season two, almost season three, Fortnite's video. Thanks, guys. Peace.